Hello everyone, and welcome back to another cartography lecture video. And in this lecture video, I want to go through a worked example of trying to figure out using Snyder's map projection guidelines what map projection would be most appropriate if we were trying to map tornado paths in Kansas. And so as I said before, the best way to do this is to approach three key questions. The first question is geographic area. All right, what geographic area are we dealing with? All right, we're dealing with we're dealing with Kansas. All right, Kansas being a US state is definitely going to fall into the continent or smaller size range. So we would know then to go to table three of the Snyder's project, projection guide. So just to, to keep track here, geographic area is continent or smaller. All right, we're just gonna be table three. So I'm gonna to try to open up table three here and put it in an area that we can see. Okay, so we're now in our table three. So we have our continent or region mapped. Then you'll notice that we have a directional extent. So in case you're not familiar with Kansas, Kansas is actually a rectangular state and it is longer than it is tall, which means that it's going to have a directional extent of east-west, right? That's the directional extent. Then we need to figure out again that location, so where is it? We have two choices. Is it on the equator or is it away from the equator? Well, Kansas would be away from the equator, right? Because it is in the northern part of North America, so we would choose away from the equator. Next, we have to think about our property. And this is where we really have to take a minute here and think about what we're trying to map. I'm going to minimize this. And the thing that we're trying to map here is these tornado paths, right? Tornado paths is the thing that we are trying to map. So think about for a second, the options that we were presented with were conformal, which keeps track of area, or equivalent, or sorry, conformal, which keeps track of shape, or equivalent, which keeps track of area. So because we're trying to track paths, right, at least from my perspective, I would care far more about the shape of the path than I would about the area of Kansas. So I would choose away from the equator and then I would choose a conformal projection because I care more about shape than area. So after we get here, we go here and we see that we would want to choose a Lambert conformal conic projection, right? And again, this name is just something that you would then go into ArcGIS Pro and look up. But what I want to draw your attention to here is the terminology, right? The projection's name is conic, meaning it's a conic class projection, and it's conformal, meaning that it is trying to preserve area. So even though we may not necessarily know what Lambert means, we do know that we're using a conic class, we've learned that, and a conformal type of approach for the for the um, property of the type of distortion. So again, we figured out what con what scale we were looking at, what direction we were directional extent we were looking for, where it was on the globe, and what property we wanted to use, and that gave us the option that we would most likely want to use. And I would actually, in this case, I would agree here that we would want an out Lambert conformal conic projection. So hopefully this made sense. Hopefully the steps made sense. And as always, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.